Welcome everyone to the 2012 edition of Perspectives on the Canadian Banking Industry. In this year's Perspectives articles, we will be examining not only the quantitative results and impacts of the Canadian banks through October 31, 2011, but as well many qualitative aspects of developments in the banking industry and what the relevance and impact might be to our Canadian banks. When we look to the Canadian banks and their results to date and as they move forward, we believe that they are well positioned for the future. That said, there will be much more pressure on profitability. We'll be examining more deeply some of the more significant regulatory reforms that are being thrust upon the sector globally. Um, most specifically, we'll be reviewing and discussing Dodd-Frank and the Volcker Rule. OTC derivatives reform, and operational risk. Macroeconomic risk is, is really universally viewed as the single largest risk that the banks are facing. And I guess it shouldn't be a surprise given some of uh, what we've seen over the past uh, 12 or 18 months in terms of sovereign debt issues. As we all know, governments around the world are very highly leveraged, um, and, and in some ways that really limits their ability to um, enter into the markets with programs like quantitative easing or injecting capital into uh, the banking market. So the second most pressing risk identified by Canadian bankers was liquidity risk. And really what we learned through the global financial crisis of 2008 and beyond is that global liquidity can no longer be assumed or counted on the same way it had been through the early part and mid part of the economic cycle. Hot off the press is our PwC Banking Banana Skins 2012 survey titled The System in Peril. This is a survey that PwC participated with the Center for the Study of Financial Innovation, where over 700 bank CEOs other executives, interested observers and regulators participated. PwC's Canadian Banking Perspectives will be examining and discussing many aspects of this survey and how those results are relevant to the sector as we move forward. So while there's lots of um, concern and a lot of risks that, uh, that we've addressed and talked about in terms of the global banking context, the Canadian banks are in better shape than many of their peers and counterparts in other jurisdictions. And we shouldn't recognize that through a lot of this turbulence comes some opportunity. And the Canadian banks are well poised and well positioned to capitalize on, on the opportunity. And not only because of the health of their balance sheets, but also because of their strong risk management culture, their solid mix of business, their perspective on portfolio approach to financial assets that they manage. So there is some, there's some definite upside for the Canadian banks uh, in terms of their ability to capitalize on some of this uncertainty.